people are going to find this surprising, but I'm actually slightly cutting down right now. And don't take that as me getting into contest conditioning. That is not the kind of cut that I'm doing. You know, um, after my show June uh, 2014, um, for the mid to last last part of 2014, I just decided to enjoy myself and eat what I want. And um, at that point, I didn't care about body fat. I really did not. It was the last thing on my mind, believe it or not. I really had no thoughts given towards putting on body fat. And I planned that. You know, that's exactly how I planned things to go. And I did what I want. I enjoyed myself. The end of my year went phenomenal because of it. But now being in 2015, I have to realize that I am a bodybuilder. And, you know, I still have to look somewhat, you know, mainstream or somewhat decent. Um, I had a weight goal in my head at of 230 this year. But, you know, I have to be realistic with myself. I'm not going to hit 230 without putting on a lot of body fat. You know, I can get there, but I'm going to look like I'm gonna look like shit. So, I'm trying to be smart. You know, the last thing I want to do is go through another prep that lasts a whole year, having to drop 70 pounds. I'm not about that. I am definitely going to do what I have to do to prevent that kind of prep, because that is hell. That is an honest to God hell going through that so probably gonna get down to maybe 200 you know might might even go 180 depends I don't want to really lose any strength I think 200 for me would be a pretty good range um, you know I'll be about you know 35 pounds away from contest conditioning and you know at that weight I can still be strong you know if I'm going under that then I'm gonna lose a little bit of strength but I'll look a little better but I just want to have that, I want to be in the middle of that. I want to be strong, but still look relatively good. Now, you guys can see my abs are, you know, still visible. You know, got a little bit of separation here and there. Nothing really big to talk about. You know, in this video here, you're looking at me at 208. I, um, I was actually 214 about a week and a half ago. So, I have already lost about 6 pounds going into this little mini cut. So, I got about 8. You know, eight to ten pounds left to go, and you know, once I get to my weight of you know one ninety five, two hundred, I'm gonna be very strict with my diet. Now, the very same thing that I ate during contest prep, the same type of foods, the same type of execution, is what I'm gonna do going in to the end of my off season, but. I'm not going to go into this off season or the end of this off season just away calories. You know, that's not the goal. I'm trying to make my next contest prep something that my mind can handle. You know, obviously my, my mind could handle my last contest prep, but, you know, I don't really think I could put myself through that again. I don't know how I did that. That was, I have no idea. If, if you guys ever have to lose that much weight for a show, then you will understand what I mean it is unbelievable on the mind but you know I'm really gonna try to prevent having to go through such a difficult process again and make my next contest prep a little um, a little easier contest prep is not easy by any means but you know 35 pounds 40 pounds away from my contest conditioning that is much more doable um, and I can execute that with far better conditioning because I don't have to diet for a year um, as, as opposed to just bulking and bulking, going as heavy as I want, and then sucking myself down back to 160, 170. I mean, that's hell. So this is the route that I've, choose, I've chosen to go. I'll show you guys the um, process of the little mini cut. Nothing really big to talk about. I've only changed one variable. One variable. That is already... Um, that, that has already dropped me down to 208. So by changing this one variable, I have already lost six pounds. What is that? All I did was cut carbs four hours before going to bed. That is it. No cardio. No fluctuation of macros. I cut the carbs 
four hours before going to bed, but I just added them back in in the morning for breakfast. You know, typically for breakfast, I didn't have carbs. Now, um, my my bedtime carbs, I guess if you want to call it bedtime carbs, is now my morning carbs. So the calories are the same, the macros are the same, but it's now all about meal timing. That is the only variable that's changed. So no carbs, four hours prior going, prior going to bed, and I've already lost six pounds. Now I might be able to keep that the way it is and get 200 just like that. If I need to, I'll drop you know 25 grams of carbs and I'll get there just like that. I mean, or I'll just increase the intensity in the gym. I mean, I don't even need to drop calories at this point. Just go a little bit more intense in the gym and the weight will come come right off. So that is what's going on with me guys, uh, definitely like the video, you know I do appreciate if you share it, leave a comment, for some reason I do get a lot of subscribers, I get a decent amount of views, I get a decent amount of likes but I don't really get a lot of comments so I would appreciate if you guys leave a comment down below, let me know what's going on, let me know what you think, let me know if I need to work on anything, if you see me lagging body parts let me know what's going on, I might be looking at my physique and saying wow I actually have nice shoulders, I actually have you know nice quads but someone outside of what I can see might be able to say you know what Nick your quads really aren't that great your tricep really needs a little more development so I do appreciate the comments down below anyways guys Nick Ross here Body of Legends see you next time